I'm in the southeast garden where I planted grass seed in this area for a little bit better path and weed control. I guess it was about a month or so ago I put this grass seed down. And because I had tried to put wood chip down and it just it, it didn't really control the weeds very well. I'm constantly in here, but and I did weed this prior to mowing it, but didn't really have to do that much. And I mowed it on the tallest setting because I've still got a few little uh well things like this, these little stumps from the trees or bushes or whatever that were here before. I've got to go through in the fall and cut those babies out. But I think it looks pretty good. There's that rhubarb. So you've just got a nice natural inviting path along here. And uh, you see how that is? So you've got the butterfly bushes here on the left with the wood chip down in no man's land. And then over here you've got rhubarb, lilies down there, the retaining wall for the driveway. And then this leads down to uh, this little almost flat area with the uh, daylilies and then down to the Hosta hillside and further into no man's land. <laughs> hey, little by little, right? What do they say in music? Poco a poco, little by little. So, yeah, just mowed it on the highest setting. Went over it a few times. You know, the, here's the trouble with new grass. It's always gonna even if you don't step on it, it gets matted down. It takes, you know, it takes a while to establish itself. But I think that looks great. I think that was a good decision on my part. And I don't think I'll have to mow this that much. This area uh, doesn't get too much sunlight once summer hits. Because as you can see, uh, we're kind of blocked out here. But as far as a, just a cute path, that works. And it takes, what, two minutes to mow this? Maybe. I think that looks good.